from is full of mystery and we love it. But you know what would be great? Answers. We know the answers can't be given right away because that would ruin the show. But since we are getting closer to the season finale, a few answers would be amazing. So today we decided to discuss some of the mysteries and questions that have been lingering in our minds for some time. Be warned, our questions bring even more question marks. Let's start with our favorite mystery. We are talking about the town, of course. It seems like an answer to this question won't be revealed soon, but a few more clues wouldn't hurt anyone, right? Our knowledge about the town is pretty limited. We know nobody can get out of the town, but did they really try every single possibility? We don't think so. What if there's a loophole that they haven't discovered yet? We know the driveway isn't the solution, and it keeps bringing people back to town, but there might be a way out in the forest. When Sarah and Boyd took a trip, they went pretty far. Who knows what's beyond? The second one is one of the most popular mysteries that the show offers. It's the monsters. Our main question is what is their deal anyway? We know that a bullet can't stop them. They don't bleed, they don't chase. They love to torture and they sleep in the caves in daytime. We don't even know what they do to their prey. We've always seen so much blood and violence. In the end, people's internal organs were missing while their heads were in place. Are they eating or stealing them? We need to catch a monster in the act or we'll never figure it out. Season two might be the perfect timing for it because recently we saw the smiley monster's death. We believe we'll be seeing and learning more about the monsters. At this point, we don't even know the reason behind their existence. Are they trapped in the town like the town settlers? Will they cooperate with the settlers to get out of the town together? It's an unlikely scenario, but we still believe that anything is possible in this show. Another one is about the boy in white and monster kids Tabitha has been seeing. Who are they? Do they really mean well or are they intending to lure the people into another trap? As far as we know, they gave no harm to the settlers and they seem cool. In fact, the boy in white saved their skins more than once. We remember he helped Victor and Julie in the Colony House Massacre. He tried to comfort Victor when he was a kid. He saved Boyd and Sarah. Our point is he can't be that bad, can he? The same thought goes with the Monster Kids. They did nothing bad to Tabitha, and we believe they will help her if she ever finds herself in a dangerous condition. They might be guardian angels or something. What do you think? Still, we need more clues to turn our speculations into real theories. Hopefully, season two may give us a few hints. Do you remember the voice on the other side of the radio? We don't even know if the voice belongs to a human being or a creature. But monsters do sleep during the day, right? So it has to be a person. We believe his mystery will be revealed sooner than expected. Well, not completely, but we know Randall and Jim will team up and look for clues, and we believe they will investigate the voice somehow. So there might be a few answers that await us in the upcoming episodes. We're almost sure that the voice comes from the lighthouse, so we can discuss it under the very same topic. Is it some kind of a control center or something? Unlike Boy in White and the Monster Kids, it gives us the chills because we have no reason to trust it. We believe it's dangerous and scary. Also, we don't think its mystery will be revealed soon, but still, with Randall and Jim, we might get some answers about it. They might find a document or pieces of information about the lighthouse. What do you think? Last but not least, let's talk about the Chosen Ones. Why do some people experience supernatural incidents and some not? How come Elgin sensed the danger in town right away and others didn't? Jade sees symbols on the wall. Sarah hears voices to tell her what to do, and we all know some people have already seen Boy in White and Monster Kids more than once. We need to know what's the reason behind all these incidents. What is their difference compared to other settlers? We have lots of questions besides the ones we just mentioned, but if we try to discuss every single one of them, we wouldn't leave here anytime soon. Would you be interested in part two of this video so that we can talk about other questions and mysteries? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to share your personal favorite mystery too. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you soon.